What's up guys, today I'm going to be installing the cold air intake on my Mercedes-Benz C300 W204 engine V6. So right here we have the original air intake right here, these little uh, intake system vents and you have the OEM air filter inside this little box right here. And what's cool about the V6 W204 is that you have twin air intakes. So right here we have the intake system that I'm going to be installing. So this is actually one whole kit, not these two pieces right here, but these four hose clamps, and these uh, two tubings, two rubber hose, and then the original filters that came with this kit. But I thought these filters were a tad bit too small and uh, decided to upgrade to these big boys right here, but also the center uh, intake too, which actually works better for the Mercedes Benz because when I take these original hosings out It'll be able to suck in air kind of like the stock uh, system did And then these right here are just the two carbon fiber heat shields that I got and Not real carbon fiber, but awesome paint job though so for this whole setter right here, I paid about $120. It was 15 per uh, filter right here. And then it was $50 for the whole setter right here, the original cones, the hosing, and the clamps. And I paid about 20 bucks each for both of these carbon uh, heat shields. So about $120 total. All these parts came off of Amazon. I'm gonna link the description down below if you wanna check them out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just take off the air filter and also these hosings right here. So these hosings really just pop out. Just grab onto them and take them out just like that. And also they pop up right down here too. You do it on both sides. Then after you finish that, all you gotta do is take off the V6, uh, what is this, just engine cover. And then also unclip this little piece in the back right here pops right out that little silver piece pop that right off and the whole thing just pulls right out of the engine All right, with the air box off, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the filter from both sides of the intake system. And I have this, I think, 1 8 Allen wrench right here that I'm gonna unscrew all the bolts with.
All right, so the air box is completely emptied out now. It's been cleaned, vacuumed, and if you're doing this, I recommend to also vacuum and clean out your uh, air box with like some soap and water, make sure all the uh, original particles are out of there. You don't want that getting sucked into your engine. Now, because the filter will be up here, so it's no longer being filtered back in here. So anything that's remaining in there needs to be cleaned out completely. And these right here are the old hoses, and those are the filters that are inside the engine inside the air box i mean all right so the first thing i'm going to do is pretty much clamp down these rubber hose pieces to the air box so they go on just like this little narrow end goes on that side and then the steel will go on that so i'm gonna put a clamp right here and then a clamp right here to put the um, clamp on the the steel tubing So what I'm gonna do now is put the steel tubing into the filter and I'm gonna attach everything to the heat shield that I have set up right here. All right, so I finally got both intake systems installed the heat shield is in this one i have to take completely apart and kind of move the uh, heat shield closer to the intake so it will fit inside of here and as you see both sides pretty much barely clear this one sits a tad bit higher but that's the first will go down I'll probably get like crushed a tad bit i can actually angle this one down a bit more which i probably will do but everything's in place, looks good. And I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. That completes the cold air intake installation. Now with these two ginormous uh, filters, the V6 Mercedes badge will not be able to fit back onto the car. So even though this does look awesome, it's gonna have to stay off for now. Or pretty much forever really. But now they can't tell if you have a V6 or a V8, but they will definitely know you have a V6. <laughs> And with that, if you guys want to check out where to get this kit from, link in the description below. It's on Amazon, 50 bucks for the intake system, 15 for the two cone filters, and then about 20 for the uh, carbon heat shields. Now, as you see, we barely, 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 barely have enough clearance. And even then, it probably will still squish onto the intake a little bit. This side fits more snugly down because there's no hosing in the way so this one could go a little bit further down but this one on this side they have the radiator hose which is in the way so this is as far as it can pretty much go down I had to do some modifying as you see this heat shield right here it's only um this one is tucked all the way in for the bolting this one you can see that there's one extra space right here so this one's sitting out wider this one's tucked in more and pretty much that's it. You guys heard the cool induction noise, the little, a little, a slight whistle, slight whistle at the, at the, um, the first push of the pedal. And after that, it's just all induction noise. So it does make a big difference. I haven't heard it with the hood down, but 
I'm gonna check and see right now, make sure everything clears properly. So we're gonna go ahead and push everything down and hopefully we have no issues. Uh, well, I can't tell you there's any issues, but it's closed. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up and see what happens. And other than that, guys, that's that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you want to get these parts for your W204 Mercedes-Benz, link in the description below. And check out my other videos. I have LED tail light installs. I'm doing a lot more things coming soon. The exhaust is coming soon. I want to do a muffler delete and a, a resonator delete. And switch them out for a glass pack and a, um, let me see, glass pack and an X-pipe for a resonator. Other than that, thanks for watching.